Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Chef Ruth is here. She is the head chef for Concha y Toro Wine, and she's going to talk to us about coastal white wines. What makes them different, and what do they go well with? Chef Ruth has all of the answers. And when I think of chili, I think of red wine, not white yes, wine. Yes, that's right. Well, we, uh, we made our reputation with the red wines. But for hundreds of years, the cold Humboldt stream is coming up to coastal areas in Chile, all the way to the north, and it's uh, creating the perfect climatic uh, conditions to grow white wines. Uh -huh. So we have basically three major valleys. We have the Limari, mm -hmm. we have the uh, Casablanca Valley, and the Bio Bio. Mm. And what makes it so different, different and, and important is that there's a cold uh, stream coming in in the morning. It's always chilly in the morning. And then in the afternoon, you have this full sun. So you create a, a beautiful, expressive grapes. They have the time to ripen at ease, and you have this the beautiful nose. Just, just take this. May I? This is a Sauvignon Blanc Echo. Oh, that smells um, good. You have the, the citrusy, you have the herbal notes, and also a little bit of a minerality. Mm -hmm. Basically, in the Casablanca Valle, where this uh, wine comes from, sets the standard for the Sauvignon Blancs. But we also have some great Sauvignon Blanc from the Bio Bio, which is more north. Okay. Uh, it's cold there. Cold. So it's a little bit more challenging to make, but they, they bring out a little more tropical flavor. So okay. you, have, uh, the, you have the pineapple there, the peach right in there. And as you know, Chile is also known for its uh, fish and seafood. Definitely, definitely. White wine, we think, we think fish and seafood. And a Chardonnay. The Chardonnay from the Limari Valley. So it's Chile in Chile. It's Chile in Chile on the coast, but not inland. Inland okay. is for the red wines. And on the coast, it's, uh, it's uh, for the whites, mm. because they need for that expression. Now, the Limari Valley is quite nice, because you're very close to the desert. You would say you see cactus around. You see, is it possible to, to grow grapes here? And yes, you can, mm -hmm. because you have that coastal, the, the breeze coming in and producing like an air conditioning. Nice. Now here, this is a wonderful, this is a real regal uh, Chardonnay. It's the Marquise de Casa Concha. Mm -hmm. You have juicy fig in there. You have pears, you can see. It's a Chardonnay. You have the buttery mouthfeel, so you can serve it with a nice cheese like a Camembert or Brie with seafood, with milk and uh, cheese, mm -hmm. uh, but always with a little note of citrusy. Wonderful. So think of your light dishes with the Sauvignon Blanc, okay. and for a little more uh, structured dishes, the Marquise de Casa Concha, Got it. your Chardonnay. Got it right here. I'm, I'm um, banking let's it. Let's toast to that. Yes, toast to that in Chile. Thank you for making good white wine. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you, mm -hmm. Chef Ruth. That's very, very good. Hey, for more information, visit Concha y Toro. Dot com. Daytime will be right back. This is great. Mm -hmm.